makes the best fried chicken and Wrangler makes the best blue jeans Everybody knows Oklahoma makes the very best football teams I believe that the Mormons make the best pioneers So I'm going to the land of the tulips Where I'm gonna make the best two years The best two years The best two years Yes, I'll be testifying In my very best suit from Sears The best two years The best two years I'm going to the land of the tulips Where I'm gonna make the best two years First I'm gonna want the little Dutch boy Stuck his finger in the middle of the dike that a flood of love is coming And it's riding on a ten-speed bike The wheels spin faster than a windmill Cause I'm always in the highest gears All around the land of the tulips I'll be turning out the best two years The best two years The best two years Yes, I'll be testifying In my very best suit from Sears The best two years Much. But I will have a book or two of Mormons wrote in Dutch And I may not be kissing the one who's gonna be my wife But my two lips will thank the Lord for the best two years of my whole life I'll be ringing lots of doorbells, I'll be talking in the street I'll be preaching with the Spirit to every single person that I meet Sometimes I'll get frightened, but that feeling disappears. Here in the land of the tulips, I'll be knocking out my best two years. Knocking out my best two years. Knocking out my best two years. Hey, Elder. Let's go. It's about that time. I'll wait for my alarm to go off, if you don't mind. Your alarm's set for 11 o'clock. You catch on real quick. Hey, come on. No. Look, we've got a lot to do today, OK? We've got about half an hour before your greenie gets here. And I want to get this place cleaned up. You know? Since when do you roll out the red carpet for one of my companions? I bet this guy doesn't last a week. Listen, Elder. You ought to just be grateful that you haven't been sent home, you know? So I just think twice about this responsibility. Come on. Oh, get off. Good morning, buddy. Time to party. All right, now. Chin up, shoulders back, stomach in, buns tight. And one, <laughs> two, three, four. You think this is pretty funny, don't you? Yeah. You don't think it's so funny when you go home looking like a fat slob. At least when I go when home. you go home. Ben Pell, by the time you go home, every one of those girls on that wall over there are going to be married and have three kids. Hey, all right, all right. Play nice. Play nice. Elder, the only reason we're laughing is because that stupid tape. I mean, every morning, it sounds like something they play at a nursing home. Well, I'm sorry. It's all I've got, OK? Oh. Uh, you know, shouldn't be so hard on him. He's not such a bad guy. Glad he's your comp. I don't know how you can stand him. And the guy's constantly combing his hair, brushing his teeth, or just smiling at himself. Yeah, he's a bit self-centered. But 
He's a good missionary. We had a lot of success together. In fact, hey, Elder. Yeah. Hey, we got a challenge to Froms tonight? Yeah. Hey, I forgot to look up that question that Bruder de Frome had about how Christ was baptized. Get it, would you? Yeah, yeah, I'll get right on it. Thanks. It's Matthew 3.16. Huh? It's Matthew 3.16. Really? Don't look so shocked. I still have some redeeming qualities. Yeah, well, about half the elders in this mission would love to trade places with you just to get a shot at training a greenie. Think so, huh? I know so. Yeah, maybe you're right. But I still don't like the idea of not knowing who my companion's gonna be. And I can just see this kid now. He's probably five foot six. He weighs a buck twenty-five. He wears those thick Coke bottle glasses. <laughs> he talks in a high nasally voice like this. And on P days, he's gonna want to sit around and uh. I don't know. Uh, maybe play a grueling game of chess or something. <laughs> We're good. Great. Elder Rogers. Yeah, he's okay. We're gonna go pick up his companion at the train station today. Well, no, of course I made sure we got up on time. I mean, you know me, I can't sleep past five. Just gotta be doing something. <laughs> yeah, the reports. Yes, I know they were due yesterday. I told Elder... Yeah, this is Elder Johnson. Johnson. Yeah. Good. How are you guys doing? Uh, the reports, yeah, I got them, uh... Right here. Um, thank you. Okay. Uh, for Elder Van Pelt and myself, we taught 11 discussions, placed 14 Book of Mormons, made nine referrals, proselyted 52 hours, zero challenges, zero baptisms. However, we are challenging someone tonight. Yeah. Yeah, I hope so too. Yeah. Um, Elder Rogers and Elder Randall. Uh, yeah, well, you know, they, they weren't getting along too well. Oh, I know, I'm just saying that these numbers... <clears throat> right. Okay. Um, they taught zero discussions, placed zero Book of Mormons, made no referrals, proselyted four hours, zero challenges, zero baptisms. Yeah, I think there's room for improvement there. Yeah, well, I hope this new companion gets him excited, too. I Right. I'll keep you informed. Okay. Tote scenes. Nee, dat is hier niet. Je moet nog even wachten. Wees dan tot de next stop. Well, Elder. What are you and I going to do first today? Okay. First of all, you and I need to have a little talk, okay? Okay, what about? A couple of things. All right, first of all, let's try and set a good example for this new elder when he comes. Why are you telling me this? That's the guy you need to be talking yeah, to. Yeah, that's exactly what I mean. Okay, let's not talk negative about Elder Rogers in front of this new guy. As far as he's concerned, he's getting the best man in the mission field, and we should just let him think that. Besides, this could be just the thing that gets Rogers going again. Yeah, dream on. Number two, just as important, I think, let's not remind Elder Rogers of home, okay? Let's not talk about home, and let's definitely not read our girlfriend's letters out loud anymore. Oh, come on. I did that once. Yeah, well, once is enough, the way Marsha writes. While you're at it, tell her not to put so much perfume on the envelope. The smell puts Rogers in a coma for days. All right. I won't read my letters out loud anymore, okay? And? And I'm gonna have to think about the perfume thing. All right, we'll just watch what you say around Rogers and this new guy, and we'll all get along just great. Okay, okay then, but uh, as long as we're talking about do's and don'ts, I've got a few I'd like to mention myself. You don't mind? About me. Uh-huh. Okay. All right, all right. Okay. <laughs> I just don't want you to get all over me. Right? Go ahead. Because technically you are my senior companion. Yeah, get it off your chest. And I know you hate it when I, when I correct your Dutch or your English. What is it, Elder? Every time we go out to place these, you always call them Book of Mormons. Yeah. But it's not Book of Mormons, it's Books of Mormon, okay? That is what's been bothering you all this time. Yeah. 
will flip, Elder. I'll try not to say it again, okay? All right. Okay. All right. Well, I'm just gonna go finish getting ready. Unless there's something else. Actually, yeah, there is one more little thing that... What's that? Flip. Flip. Yeah, flip. I hate that word. Flip this, flip that. I'm so flippin' mad I could flip and die, I swear, Elder. If you say that word one more time, I might hurt you. Uh-huh. Are you finished? Yeah. I'm sorry. I, I mean, I don't mean to get angry or anything. It's just something that we need to get resolved. That's all. All right, well, that's a valid comment. I do need to quit using that word, so... <clears throat> Tell you what, every time I say the word... <clears throat> that word, I want you to hit me. You want me to hit you? Yeah, I don't mean maim me. Just a friendly reminder, so I'll quit using the word. I heard that, so beware. Believe me, I intend to, all right? You will never hear me say that word again, ever. Well, if that's that, I'm just gonna go get cleaned up. Unless there's something else? No, no, uh, I think that's about it. Good. Yeah, thanks. Hello, Usprechmet of the Rogers. Yeah, yeah. No. No? Okay. Todzins. Who was that? I didn't tell you who that was. No. That was the assistant. They said they're coming over here to talk to you. To me? Yeah. Oh, for what, did they say? No, but it sounded really important. This could be it, Elder. Junior companion to district leader. When are they coming over, did they say? Right now. Right now, they're coming over right now. They're right now. Right now? You better get this place cleaned up. Hurry. Elder, 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 hurry up in there. The assistants are coming over. We gotta get this place cleaned up. All right, good. Get this in the bathtub. We got a tie. All right, I'll grab it. Okay, good. Are you gonna help me at all? Oh, crap. Hey, Elder. Elder! What? That wasn't the assistant. That was Mufrau von der Lange. She's coming over later. <laughs> but, uh, you did a really good job. That's funny, Elder. You know, that's... <laughs> that's really funny. Well, there's always next month. Hey, Elder, we can go over that discussion on the way to the train station? Yeah. Good. So I guess this will be, uh, quite a change for you, working with a greenie and all, huh? No, I imagine it'll be a lot like working with you. <laughs> That's funny, Elder. You know, I haven't wanted to say anything, but I guess in order to communicate with you, one has to descend to your level. Come on down. Because I have sat by and watched you humiliate and degrade your last four companions. Uh -huh. And up until now, I haven't done anything about it. But I think it's my do... No. It's my obligation to prevent you from corrupting this next one. Mm -hmm. So if I see you so much... Elder Rampelt. Ready for prayer? Oh, so what are the, uh, what are the goals for today? Well, first we're gonna go to the train station, pick up Elder Rogers' new companion. Then, let's see, 9.45, we have an appointment with the Fun Ordens. Thereafter, we'll door contact, try to place two books of Mormon, teach one discussion, and be home for lunch. Sounds good. Elder Rogers, what about you? Well, I think I'll go pick up my new companion. Don't you want to set any goals, Elder? Goals. Right. Good thinking. Well, I've got to find a way to make you disappear. Uh -huh. <laughs> all right, all right. That's Elder nice. Rogers, would you send us out? Yeah. <clears throat> oh, just a second. I forgot my flipping watch. <laughs> Hope the train was late. Hey, don't blame me. I'm not the one who forgot his lock. Oh, thanks for reminding me again for the third time. Hey, I'm sure he's fine. Right, Rogers? Rogers? Ah. 
Maybe he's come and gone, and it's halfway to Belgium by now. Elder, <laughs> could you please try to be a little more optimistic? I was. I think he's better than living with Rogers. Look, let's just go sit down and wait for Rogers, and then we'll decide what to do. All right. Get lost? How'd you mean that? As in, did I? Or you'd like me to? By the way, I will rise above your sarcasm. Share my spoils. Oh, yeah. Oh, nice. There we go. Thank you. So, where's my next victim? I think he's in Belgium and Johnson thinks he's lost. You're both wrong. He's here. Attention, dames and here. They do run a budget here met an American passport. <laughs> Elder Calhoun? Elder Calhoun? Hi. Who got head elders? <laughs> Elder Johnson. <laughs> Elder Van Pelt. <laughs> Elder Rogers. Elder Rogers. My name's the colleague. He hoped that mine. Uh... You, you can stop speaking Dutch. Just speak English. Okay. Elder Van Pelt, will you take a picture of us? Uh, yeah. Smile, elders. Here. <laughs> hey, listen, Elder. You're very lucky to be getting Elder Rogers as your first companion, okay? Pay attention to him, and you'll be surprised what he can teach you. Okay. All right. Elder. Can't argue with that. Good luck, Elder. Coach Zines. Coach Zines. So you're fresh out of the States, huh? What was it like when you left? Kind of cloudy. We've been having lots of rain. I don't need a weather report, Elder. I mean, what's been going on? You know, in TV, music, sports. Yes, sports. Tell me what's been going on in sports. Sports? I don't remember. Have you been out here long? Yeah, an eternity. I've almost got less months than you've got years. Wow. So how many baptisms you got? You know, Elder, one of the first things you need to learn while you're out here is that numbers don't mean a thing, okay? Just remember that. What are you doing? I'm just writing down what you said. Mission president said that if I pay real close attention to everything you say, I'll learn lots faster. You said that about me? Yeah. Yeah, I guess that's okay. But hey, listen, you need to check with me before you write anything down I've said, okay? Should I write that down? Yeah. Hey, Elder? Yeah. When are we gonna get me back? We'll do that later. I thought we'd go back to the apartment, let you get some rest. Probably tired? Oh, no, 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 I'm fine. I'm ready to go. Ah, well, great. <laughs> Then I guess we will go put your stuff away, go we'll grab you a bike, go we'll play some Book of Mormons later. After that, can we do some tracking? No, no, no. <laughs> no, we don't want to do that. Um, <clears throat> here, you know what? Try, try, try one of these. It's a strope waffle. They're better hot, but I like them crunchy, too. So where are you from, anyway? Oklahoma. Oh, this is good. You got a girlfriend? Yeah. Well, no. 
I mean, she's just that. She's a girlfriend. We've known each other since we was three. Your parents like her? Oh, yeah. Mom's crazy about her. That's probably because she's Catholic. So are both my parents. Your parents are members. What do you think about you going on a mission? Not much. They didn't really want me to go. How long have you been a member? Almost two whole years now. Hey, it's a great conversion story. You want to hear about it? Not now. Maybe later, though. Well, that's enough about me. How about you? How about me what? Well, I don't know. Where are you from? Salt Lake City, born and raised. Wow. You come from a big family? Nope, only one. Well, I bet your parents are going to be happy to see you then. Yeah, I don't know about that. See, my parents, they got divorced about six months ago, and I don't really know. You know what's going on. I'm sorry. That's all right. Not a big deal. Hey. Do you have a girlfriend? Nope. Are you riding anyone? Nope. And you don't have any sisters? Nope. Do you like girls? place like home. Wow. <laughs> Did see hear Val Moy out? That is really good Dutch, Elder. Thank you. Yeah. Well, follow me. Take you on the grand tour. OK. Over here, we have our dresser. Your drawers are the bottom ones. Here, we've got our bed. You take the bottom. And here's the kitchen. Now, you may eat anything that is unmarked. Everything else, keep your hands off. So is unmarked food everyone's? Sort of. It's Elder Van Pelt's. Now, okay. we don't have a fridge that actually works, so if you want to keep things cool, place it inside a bag, hang it out the window. Over here, you've got your basic toilet, sink. However, the tub doesn't work. Wow. Var <laughs> is the... Shower. It's yeah. right here. You can quit the Dutch, though, just speak English. How does that work? It's real simple. You hook it up to the sink, you hang it over the light, you stand in the tub, you turn the hot water on. However, do not let anybody flush the toilet while the hot water is running. Why not? You'll find out. So, you got any questions? Yeah, not right now, but if I think of any, I'll let you know. I uh, found this in the train station trash. Guess it didn't take. Ah, oh, doggone it. Oh, whose are those? These are Elder Van Pelt's fan club. Wow. Wow, she's got green eyes. Wow. What about Elder, uh... Johnson. Yeah. He's a district leader, ain't he? Yeah. He's not a bad guy, but, uh... If you ever want to know anything, you ask me. Got it? Okay. Okay. I should write that down. Okay. What have you got there? Oh, this? It's a chess set. It was a gift from the kids at Winston High. I was school champ two years in a row. Great. You know what? I could unpack the rest of this later. You want to go get me my bike and give me another chance at placing this Book of Mormon? Are you, are you sure you don't want to rest? I, I bet you're beat. Oh, I'm fine. I, I'm ready to go. Great. Why don't you grab my coat and we'll get going. Hey. Well, well, well. Look what the wind blew in. Really, lunch elders? Yeah, uh, our point fell through, so we just thought we'd, uh, Come back here and try to get some more of the phone. All right. Elder Calhoun, how's it going? Oh, great. Just great. Me and Elder Rogers was just getting to know each other a little bit better. Now we're going out to get me a bike and try to place me some Book of Mormons. 
Oh, some Books of Mormon, huh? Yeah. Oh, that's good. Uh, good luck with that, huh? Thanks. Elder. Oh, I gotta go. Okay. Tote zines to you. Tote zines. <laughs> yeah, well, stick real close to me when we get your bike. I would hate to lose you on your first day. What time is it? It's five minutes later than the last time you asked. Well, I'm sorry. I thought my watch might have stopped. Do you know how it is waiting for the mail? No, I wouldn't know. Why don't you tell me? It's been so long since I got a letter from Julie, I wonder if she remembers I'm alive. I'm sure she'll write you soon. Hey, Elder, it never comes when you watch. So come on back in here, sit down, and we'll figure out who to call, OK? I mean, naturally, you're excited to get some mail. But you know, you got to just learn some patience. If it comes, it comes. If it doesn't, there's always tomorrow. I'm expecting a letter, too, but you don't see me checking the door every five minutes. Yeah, I guess you're right. I do need to be a little more patient. <clears throat> well, patience comes with time, you know? When you've been out as long as I have, you learn not to get too excited about things. Mail! Van Pelt! Van Pelt! Van Pelt! Van Pelt. Van Pelt. <laughs> Swear. I have the phone put into my name just so I get the bill once a month. Oh! Oh, 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 oh! Elder, Elder, listen to this! My parents just bought a new ski boat. They're all going skiing at Lake Powell this weekend. Oh! Oh! This is trunking me out of my mind! Elder! What? Shut up! Sorry. Elder. What? I'm shutting up. No, 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 no. Over here by the door. Am I hallucinating, or does that look like a letter with a cassette in it? Could be, Elder. Why don't you go take a look? I would, but I'm afraid if I touch it, your name will magically appear. Just go on. Get it. Well, let's see. Elder Emmett Johnson. It's from Julie. Yes! Oh. Oh. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where's what? Where's my tape player? Oh, I loaned it to Bruder Riker today. He said he'd have it back on Sunday. Sunday? Uh-huh. I can't wait till Sunday. Oh, I'm sorry. You didn't know you'd need it. You have got exactly five minutes to locate me a cassette player, or you'll go down in history as the first person ever killed by a cassette Ow! tape. Ow! Oh, you find that tape player. I, I, I want it right now. Well, I'm ready to go. Let's go play some Book of Mormons. Nah, you go play some Book of Mormons. I'm gonna take some pictures. Ain't you gonna help me? Best way to learn something is to do it yourself. Look, Elder, it's not a big deal. Just start with something simple, like a greeting. If it's a man, just say, Khuradak, Manir. And if it's a woman, say, Khuradak, Mufrau. Man, Manir. Woman, Mufrau. Man is Manir, woman is Mufrau. Go get him. Man is Manir, woman is Mufrau. Okay. Well, uh, what if they say something back to me? Well, just smile and act like you know what's going on. Okay. Well, what if I tell them about the Book of Mormon, they get so excited they want to they want to get baptized? Then take down their measurements and their phone number, tell them we'll call them back. Okay. Go get them. Oh, Elder, someone's coming. Oh, 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 he stopped. 
He got something out of his pocket. He's... But I don't know. It's gum! Oh, now, now he's going the other way. Wait, no, he stopped. He's coming back. Here he comes. He's coming this way. Oh, here it goes. Go. Go on, go on. Who the dog, Mufrao? In here? Uh, who got het fan dag? Ich bin Elder Calhoun. Dit is a uh, het book van Mormon. Uh, oh, eat fang a hoard? <laughs> Sorry, guys, I don't speak Dutch. What'd he say? He said he's sorry, Elder. He doesn't speak Dutch. He's speaking English. Hey, neither do I. Well, I do a little bit, but well, I just got here. Today's my first day, and I'm just learning the language. Well, that makes two of us. You a missionary, too? No. No, I mean, I'm also trying to learn Dutch. Oh. Well, I'm, I'm Elder Calhoun. I introduced myself to you earlier, but you probably didn't understand me. Well, let's see. Oh, there you are. Thought you got lost. Oh, no. Monique. Uh, this is uh, Elmer Calhoun. He's uh, showing me a book, and and he's learning Dutch himself. Oh, what leuk that you Nederlands wil leren. Where come you from? Yeah. So, all righty. Dag. <laughs> Dag. Dag. Elder, what language was she speaking? That was Dutch. Oh, I'm in trouble. Because that ain't the language they taught me in the MTC. Who got het met u van dag? Good and met u. Ik ben zeer good. Waar komt u van dan? Elder. Ik ben evanga horgen maar van het evangelie. It come out the varangi. Oh. Remember that in Dutch, the G is a guttural sound, like uh, dach or hu. Huda. Try that. <coughs> okay. Yeah. That. No. That's good. That's that's good. <clears throat> I'll write that down, and you can practice it later. Much later. Elder, do you ever think I'm gonna understand this language? Yeah, you're being too hard on yourself. It's just your first day. Look, it takes most guys months to get it down. Look, one day someone's going to come up to you and say something. And without even noticing, you're going to carry on a conversation just like a Dutchman. Really? <laughs> yeah. Hey, when those guys come back, don't tell them we didn't go out and work tonight, OK? I mean, just don't say anything. Whatever you say. So are all these yours? Yeah, got thousands of these things. I've got uh, pictures of every comp in every place in Holland, and then a few. <laughs> well, who's this? That is Elder Davidson. He was my first companion. He's my favorite, too. He's married now. He's got a little girl who lives in Provo. Well, who's this one? Nobody important. Really? Because by the way you two is smiling at each other, I thought you was best friends. Yeah, well, we're not, OK? The guy's a real jerk. His name was Elder Richardson, and he thought he was really something. Hey, look, uh, here come those guys. So just act like we just got here, OK? OK. Rogers, can I borrow your cassette player? Yeah. Where is it? Uh, it's in my bag by the door. Hey, Elder Calhoun. How'd your first day on the job go? Oh, great, just great. Me and Elder Rogers went into the city, and he showed me around, and I got me a bike and almost placed my first Book of Mormon. You're kidding me. No. Well, that's great. Yeah. Were you scared? Yeah. Er, not really. I mean, he was American. We were both speaking English, so. Oh, well, you know, you take it. Rogers, <laughs> it's not there. It's not? No, I looked all through the bags. It's not there. Oh, I left it in Elder Randall's bag on the day of transfers. I bet he took it with him. <laughs> Who's Elder Randall? Uh, he was my last cop. 
What do you need it for, anyway? Oh, nothing. Can't you tell? He got a tape from Julie. Oh, okay. <laughs> Shut up. Hey, is Julie your girlfriend? Girlfriend? We're talking the next Mrs. Johnson. Oh. They've already got a date set. So are you serious with any of them? No. We're just good friends. So uh, where are you from? Uh, first of all, Elder, where I'm from, we don't dangle our participles. What's that mean? It means you shouldn't end a sentence with the word from. Okay. I'm sorry, what should I have said? What you should have said is, so where are you from, moron? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's funny. It's really funny. Sorry. Good. Hey, either of you two heard of a, an Elder Richardson? Uh, yeah, he went home a year ago, why? Uh, he was Elder Rogers' second companion. I, I don't think he thinks too much of him. <sighs> yeah, Elder, um, just between you and me, Rogers and Richardson were like best friends, but uh, Rogers made the mistake of having him look up his girlfriend when he got home. What happened? Next letter he got from her was a wedding announcement. Oh, that explains why I act so fast. <coughs> Shut up. <clears throat> you got a really big mouth, Elder. Elder Van Pelt. Your bread's starting to mold. Oh, you're kidding me. Ah! So. How'd you get along today, Elder? Oh, oh, just great. I came this close to placing my first Book of Mormon. Is that right? Yeah. That's great. Yeah. He comes all the way to Holland. The first guy he talks to is an American. Yeah. We'll keep trying. Oh, yeah. Hey, Elder, let's go get some more bread before the store closes, huh? No, no way. I'm beat. Oh, come on. It'll only take a couple of minutes. No, you can get it in the morning. Hey, Elder Calhoun, you want to go get some bread with me? I don't know. Elder Rogers, do I want to go get some bread with him? You don't have to ask me, Elder. I'm not your mother. Well, come on, I'll let you buy it. It'll be good practice. OK. All right, let's go. Hey, you do know the word for bread, right? Um, in English or Dutch? Dutch. Now, remember, when you ask for the bread, to get the geschneid brot. Got it? Got it. Margit. Okay, Snape and Brood. Him. Good evening. What can I help you? So, uh, how would you get along today, Elder? Fine. Yeah, he seems like a nice enough kid. Yep. Oh, well. Sorry for what I said about Richardson, okay? I didn't mean no, to bring... Just forget about it, okay? Let it go. Okay. I'm sure he's excited to be out here, though. You know? I mean, he really thinks you guys are gonna have success. You think you will? Get serious, will you? Who are you trying to kid? Nobody. It's been known to happen. Yeah, in the enzyme. Well, I'm not saying anything's gonna happen right away, but just... don't destroy this guy, okay? Give him a chance. Look. I have taught hundreds of discussions, all right? I've placed over a thousand Book of Mormons, and nothing's ever come of it. So do not sit here and lecture me about what could happen, okay? Fine. What, you're not gonna finish? No. I learned a long time ago, when you wrestle with a pig, you both get dirty, but the pig loves it. What is that supposed to mean? It means that you enjoy provoking people. You know what you're talking about. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. I remember when I first came out here, you and Richardson used to lead the mission every week in teaching discussions. Now look at you. You haven't picked up your discussion book in over a year. I... I don't even see you kneel down to pray at night anymore, Elder. I wonder if you have a testimony. Yeah, well, so do I. I mean, I used to. I, I just don't know anymore. No, you do. You do. You just don't want to do anything about it. And you've lost sight of the whole reason you're out here. You know, it would be different if you did have a testimony problem. Thank you, Dr. Johnson. Hey, come on! Look! Who are you trying to kid? Huh? You look at those stupid pictures every night. I watch you read those letters over and over again. You're just bitter about what Richardson did, and you can't forgive him or her. Bro, you've got this real easy, don't you? You've got your parents writing you back home. You have someone waiting for you. But you know what? You would be a lot different if she wrote you off too. And do not try to deny that. I won't. 
Oh, okay. You're right. But I know I'd get over it. Because I know why I came out here. Do you? Hey, Johnson, I got you... Hey, I bought you some more milk. I drank the last years at lunch, okay? Okay. <laughs> so Elder Calhoun had a fun time at the store, didn't you, Elder? Let's just forget about it. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> so I let him buy the bread, right? Yeah. But when he asks for it in Dutch, rather than asking for a cut loaf, he asks for a circumcised <laughs> loaf. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's okay, Elder. Hey, don't worry about it, buddy. Everybody makes mistakes. Okay? In fact, there was this one time, Elder Van Pelt and I are teaching a discussion. Hey! Now that's enough. <laughs> what, can't you take it? Anyway, we're teaching this discussion, okay? And there are two words, macht, which is power or influence, mm -hmm. and macht, which is virgin. So, Elder Van Pelt switches the two <laughs> and tells this lady that when Joseph entered the grove, he was overcome by an evil, dark virgin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess it is a little funny if you think about it. Hey, Elder, did you tell him the news? No. Hey, we challenged Bruder and Zeus to the throne tonight, and they accept it. They're getting baptized a month from tonight. Well, that's great. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Well, so how many baptisms you got so far? Baptisms? Well, let's see. They're... Oh, come on. How hard is it to count to one? It's right after zero. Okay, I was trying to remember all the ones that almost went in, all right? Okay, so there's only been one. But this makes numbers two and three, and I've only been out six months. Six months? Yeah. Well, I bet you the time seems like it goes by pretty fast. Oh, Elder, the secret is just to lose yourself in the work. Next thing you know, you're going home! Yeah. Lose myself. Elder Calhoun. Yeah? Why don't you write your parents that postcard with your new address on it? Okay. Hey, Elder, thanks for the advice. Hey, ask any time. Advice is free. It's about what it's worth, too. Hey, Elder Rogers, could you hand me my journal? It's right underneath my tape player. <laughs> tape player? Why did you tell me you had a tape player? Oh, look at that. Oh, this is great. Oh, where's my tape? Where's the tape? Where's it? Ah, what the? Looking for this? Oh, thank you. You're welcome. All right, where's your doctor? My what? Your adapter. You have to have an adapter over here, Elder. The power's different. So you have an adapter, right? I, I didn't know. Van Pelt? No, I don't know. Rogers? No. Oh, flip! Oh. Ow! Elder! <laughs> batteries. It's got batteries! It's got batteries. Okay. <laughs> We're in business. They's dead. I I'm sorry. I forgot to change them before I left. Oh. Well, I'll go to the store. I'll go to the store and I'll get some batteries and everything back to neat, okay? And uh, here we go. Okay, here we go. And uh, to the store. This will be great. Hey, Elder. What? Uh, store closes at 10. Besides, I think you'll look a little stupid going in like that. Who cares what I look like at a time like this, huh? <gasps> Calhoun, you better get ready for bed. Lights out, 10.30. Good night, Elder. <laughs> See you bright and early.
I hailed her? Yeah. I'm sorry about your girlfriend. Thanks. You know what Elder Van Pelt says? What? If your girlfriend won't wait, your wife will. Hey, Elder Calhoun. Yeah? You probably shouldn't sleep in your suit. Okay. I know I've found so many reasons to justify my doing time. And all the people I've been teasing are working hard to change my mind. Now I've abused all my excuses and I've been waiting for a sign. I know deep down the truth is I'm afraid to toe the line. When I question how this happened, when this happened, I start wondering why. Could one person make a difference, be the difference, if he chose to try? happened when this happened I start wondering why could one person make a difference be the difference if he chose to
Eight smokalik, Elder. <laughs> Elder, I know why we ain't been having success. We need to fast. All right, Elder. Where are we headed to first today? No, no, no. This is your idea. You choose. Okay. Okay. Let's go this way. I have a feeling it's gonna be a great day. I have a feeling this is gonna be a long day. You can hear it if you listen. You can see it all around. And the hope your heart's been missing is waiting to be found in the promised land. I'm starving, okay? I'm not gonna make it till dinner. Come on. Where's your willpower? Look. Look out there. Now, somebody out there is just dying to talk to us. But you gotta help me, because I still don't understand what they're saying. Okay, fine. Let's just get this over with. Look, I'll ask the first question. You asking these. Now, if you give away a Book of Mormon or someone accepts an invitation to church, or we get an appointment, I get to break my fast. Fair enough? OK, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I like that. Oh, good day, my Frau. Can I ask a few questions? No, I'm not interested. Good day. Oh, good day, my dear. Can I ask a few questions? Good day, hoor. Tot ziens. Dag. Goedendag, mevrouw. Mag ik je een paar vragen stellen? Ja. Mevrouw, um, helft u in Jezus Christus? Ja. Oké. Okay. Um, zou u het belangrijk vinden als zijn kerk op aard vandaag was? Uh, ja, natuurlijk. Ja, als het waar is. Ja. 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 Zie je zo'n dag? Oké. Oké. Tot zo'n dag. Dag, tot zo'n dag. Elder. Elder, you can break your fast now. I got her to commit to church on Sunday. Really? Yeah. And she committed to bringing her whole family. On? Believable. I know. Did you give her the address of the church? Oh no, I forgot. I gotta find no, it. Elder, no, Elder, Elder, Elder. Hey! Elder, 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 Elder. It's fine. It's fine. I think she'll find it. You think so? Positive. Well, how can you be so sure? Because that's Anna Den Helder. That's the bishop's daughter. <laughs> hey, that ain't fair. Deal's a deal. What they say? I wouldn't write that down. This ain't working. I've run at least a ten k, and no one stopped to listen to me. Can't we go someplace where 
They ain't moving so much. What do you mean? I thought you had the lady with the walker cornered. I did. Until she sicked her dog on me <laughs> and gave me a slip. Yeah. I must be doing something wrong. Look, don't be so hard on yourself. You're tired, you're hungry. It's always tomorrow. Elder way. Can't we try one more place before we go get dinner? Okay. Okay. What are we doing here? Well, Elder, the Lord works in mysterious ways. Sometimes the least obvious place is the best. Just remember that one. Should I write that down? Yeah, go ahead. Besides, I need something for my stomach. We're out of a few things, and you need people that can't run away. It's a perfect fit. So get to it. Let me borrow that. Well, what am I supposed to do? Het spijt me, maar mensen zijn niet van brood alleen leven. Oh, <laughs> sorry. Thank you. Hey, I know you. We met a few weeks ago. You remember me? Yeah, uh, it's Elmer, right? <laughs> no, it's 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 Elder Calhoun. Oh, Elder, yeah, there it is, there. Wow, what a coincidence meeting you here. Yeah, small world. Okay. You know what? The last time I met you, well, I was just about ready to tell you about the Book of Mormon. You ever heard of it? Uh, no, I don't. I don't think so. Well, great. Let me tell you about it. You heard of the Bible, ain't you? Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. All right, well, the Bible is the record of God's children in the Old World, and the Book of Mormon is the record of God's children in the New World. Oh. There are prophets in both places teaching yeah. the same gospel of Jesus Christ. Uh -huh. The last prophet, Moroni, well, he'd gather all the records together, and he'd put them into a book, and then he'd right. bury them into a hillside. Sure. And after that, well, a few years later, a man named Joseph Smith, he came around, and, and he uh, found the book, and uh, he translated it by the power of God. Whoa. And then this here... It tells about who they were and where they come from. And, but most importantly, it talks about a visit from Jesus Christ. And that's why today the Indians talk about a great white God that visited them in their own country and how he'll come again someday. Uh, that's interesting. I never heard that before. Well, appreciate the information. I'm, I'm just kind of running a little behind, so I'm sorry. I'll, I'll see you later. Wait, wait, wait do you, do you want to hear more? Yeah, yeah, I do. I'm just, I'm really out of time, so whew. Okay, how about we come out tonight then? I'm not going to be home. <laughs> Tomorrow night, then. You know, um, tell you what, give me your telephone number and I'll call you. Do you have a piece of paper or something? No. But, hey, I might name and my number on the inside of this book. No, 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 no I, I can't take your book. No, I, no, I don't like want your more. book. Go no, ahead, I, I, that's, that's, okay, that's yours. fine. Thanks. Okay, well, it's good to talk to you again, then. All right, bye. All right, bye. Uh, don't forget to call. For sure. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh. Elder. Elder. Elder, where are you? Elder! Elder! Oh, Elder! I just placed my first Book of Mormon, and he wants to know more. He said that? Yeah, and the best part is, he took down my number and said he wanted to call me. My first Book of Mormon. <laughs> Already a baptism. Elder, look, don't get your hopes up. You're never gonna see that guy again. No, he was serious, I could tell. Look, just don't be too disappointed when he doesn't call. No, Elder. Wait. Just think about it. If we hadn't have been in this very spot, at this precise moment, we may never have found him again. How'd you know to come here? Indigestion. Inspiration. Elder, you, you think that, that when I've been out as long as you have, I, I might receive inspiration, too? Look, Elder, I don't know why that guy came here precisely the moment we were here. I don't know why he took your book or said that he would call. Okay, but believe me, I had nothing to do with it. Sometimes things just happen. Do you understand what I'm telling you here? I think I do. Okay. It's humility, ain't it? That's what you're trying to tell me. 
Humility is a key to inspiration. Can I write that down? Yes, Elder, please. Please, write it down. Thank you. Hey, anybody here? Yeah, we're in here. Elder Calhoun, how'd the fast go today? He's still on it. What? What? Elder Calhoun, are you still fasting? You guys would not believe what happened today. Well, we start out the day by deciding to go tracting. And uh, we knock and we knock and we knock, and door after door after door is slammed in our face. And then this last door, nothing. So then I get to thinking, well, we're in the wrong place. So I, we, I decide to go over to the square, and, and we're there, and we're talking to everybody and talking to everybody. There's one girl that was really interested, nothing. So I think we should go over to the park, and we start to run people down, literally. Can you guess what happened there? Nothing. Okay, yeah, so you see where I'm going with this? I hadn't asked Elder Rogers where he thought we should go. So after feeling a little bit sorry for myself and whining a bit, I asked him, where do you think he said we should go? The grocery store. Yeah. Why do you think he said that? Because he hadn't eaten all day? No! That's what I thought. No, it's because he knew exactly where he'd be. Who? The guy we met at Kuchenhof a few weeks ago. You remember? Well, right there in, in the liquid beverage section, well, I give him the watered-down version of the Book of Mormon. And he got so excited. Well, he wrote down my number, and he said he'd call me. Well, well that's too bad, Elder. Good try. Better luck next time, huh? What do you mean? He was interested. Elder. You sure you just didn't misunderstand him? Oh, no, no. We was both speaking English. He's American. We met before. The same guy? Yeah. Well, you never know. You just never know. Hey, did you get your tape fixed? No, tomorrow. Tomorrow. Hey, uh, Elder Calhoun, you want me to fix you something to drink? Fluff lips sound good? Huh? Ow! Oh, Elder! I wasn't using the slang, I was referring to the drink. Sorry. Oh, man, pelt! No. You know what? I think I'm gonna wait a little bit longer just in case. Just in case what? Just in case he calls. Hey, Elder Calhoun, uh. If he was going to call today, don't you think you would have called by now? Well, I bet he calls first thing in the morning. You want me to fix you something to eat? I bet you feel better. Hey, how about community prayer tonight? Huh? Elder Van Pelt? Yeah! Community prayer. Dude, now. Elder Calhoun, would you lead us? Yeah, okay. <clears throat> Elder Rogers. Our Father in heaven, we're very grateful for this day. We're thankful for thy gospel and for the opportunity that we have to share it with other people. Father, we ask you to please bless Elder Johnson and Van Pelt that they might have success and that their baptism might go through. Father, please bless Elder Rogers and thank you for inspiring him today to lead him to our fellow brother who is searching for the truth. Father, please bless us and all our loved ones. And Father, please bless that young man that he may call. Hey, Amen. Amen. Who uh, spoke with Elder Johnson? No, no, I, I speak English. I'm an American. Just a second, Elder Calhoun. This is Elder Calhoun. 
It's him. place cleaned up before he gets here. And I want to go over those. Are we in the right place? I have no idea. Look, here's a note. To Elder Rogers and de, de Juncha. It means greeny. Go ahead, read it. Out loud. Uh, we hope you like what we've done to the apartment. We wish you success this evening. We left you an English Book of Mormon on the table and a Joseph Smith pamphlet as well. Uh, good luck, Elders Johnson and Van Pelt. P.S. Don't let him in the bathroom. The toilet is clogged again. Oh, jeez. OK. Why don't we go over tonight what we're going to teach him? Uh, you told him May 30, right? Oh, yeah, I'm positive. I checked with him twice just to make sure. Are you sure he knows where we live? Yeah, he said he knew exactly where it was. He told him upstairs into the back. Upstairs into the back, yep. All right, all right. It can be a little difficult in English. I hope I don't butcher this. You know what? Why don't we just give him the baptismal challenge first? I bet you he's just dying to hear it. Elder, he hasn't even read the Book of Mormon yet. You gave him a Dutch copy, remember? Besides, True conversion takes time. Remember that. Should I write that down? No, don't write it down. Just remember it. Okay. Okay. Now, when he gets here, I want you to sit there and listen and learn and bear your testimony at the right moment. How do I know when it's the right moment? What do you mean? You don't know when it... Never mind. I'll tell you when the moment's right, and then you just hand him this pamphlet. All right, well, what do I bear my testimony on? How about Joseph Smith? That's what we're talking about. OK, now, he's probably going to have a lot of questions, so let me answer them unless he asks you specifically. OK. Now, I don't know this well enough in English, so I don't think we can use the flip charts. Oh, I, I do. Well, I, I, mean, I mean, I have them in English, and I know where every single flip is. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. OK, we'll try it. Go get them. OK. That's where he sits. That's where I sit. Okay. Elder, what time is it? Uh, it's almost 8.30. Oh, my first discussion. Elder, what are you doing? I think I hear something. Elder, come here. Come on, come on. Now sit. Stay. Now listen. When he comes here tonight, I want you to sit there and be patient. Do not attack him, OK? OK. OK, 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 all right, OK, OK, calm down, calm down, calm down. OK. OK, all right, now, do you remember what to say? Yeah. You have the pamphlet? Yeah. Sorry. OK, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Calm okay. down. Okay. I'm going to grab my okay. coat, and then I'm going to answer the door. Yeah, OK, I'm going to okay. answer the door. OK. OK. Just like riding a bike. Here we go. Hi, I'm Elder Calhoun. I met you yesterday. I'm so excited to see you again. I'm sorry. He's just a little excited about having you here. Oh, nice. All right, listen, I apologize for the, the clothes. I just came straight from the doctor's office. Oh, ain't you feeling well? Yeah, it's an optometrist. I work there. So. Oh, we know what you meant. <laughs> we just think you look great in white. <clears throat> Won't you come in? No, no. Listen, I only came by to uh, to return your book. I, I'm just not going to have any use for this. Oh. Well, it's in Dutch. Oh, well, here's an English one. Well, thank you. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I don't even know your name. Oh, well, it's Kyle Harrison. 
Kyle Elder John Rogers. Okay. Elder, of course, is just a title that we hold in our church, the actual name of our church in the, uh, the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. <clears throat> You've already met Elder Calhoun. Yes. Early Great. Hours. Now that that's out of the way, <clears throat> I hope he told you a little bit about the Book of Mormon. Didn't he? Yes, he uh, gave me a brief history of it. Great. So you know that we believe the Book of Mormon to be the Word of God as translated by his prophet, Joseph Smith. And I know that Joseph Smith would... We live in a time of unrest. There are many people in the world who are discouraged, unhappy, and looking for something better. Kyle, do you think it would be important if God gave us necessary guidance and instruction today? Yes. Our message and testimony to you is that God does still love us and leads us today by the means of a living prophet. And I know that Joseph Smith... And I would like to tell you about a prophet named Joseph Smith, if I may. While still a very young man in the year 1820, Joseph lived in New York. He talks of a great religious excitement going on at the time. Everyone was torn between the different religions because each priest explained the Bible so differently. It was hard for him to know which church was true, but he desperately wanted to know the truth. Well. One day, while reading through the Bible, he came across a scripture. That scripture actually was James 1.5. I was wondering if you could go ahead and, and read that. It's uh, James 1.5. You could read that out loud. <clears throat> if any of you... If any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of God, that giveth to all men liberally, and upbraideth not, and it shall be given him. Thank you. Never had a scripture hit him so hard. He constantly pondered over this because if anyone lacked wisdom, it was him. He desperately wanted to know the truth, and in order to know the truth, he needed to ask of God. So one spring morning in the year 1820, he did just that. He went alone into the woods, knelt down, and began to pray out loud. While he was praying, he said he saw above his head a calm of light that was brighter than the sun and gradually fell upon him until he became completely encompassed by the light. And there above him he saw two personages whose brightness and glory were beyond all description. And one of them spoke to the other saying, Joseph, this is my beloved son, hear him. And we testify to you that God the Father and his son, Jesus Christ, appeared to Joseph Smith and spoke with him. And that's why we're here. That's why I'm here. That's why I'm here to bring you this message so you can come to know of the truth also. I also know that Joseph Smith was a pamphlet. Prophet. He, he was a prophet. I, I know what you meant. Finished yet? No, they're still up there. The guy must really be interested. Great. All the times for Rogers to actually be teaching somebody, it had to be tonight. It's better work when I get up there. Look, why don't we just run up there and grab the cassette player? They won't care. No, no, no. I don't want to disturb them, okay? Besides, it's it's not even 9.30, and I don't want them thinking that we've been out here just waiting to get up there and get the tape player. Correction. You don't want them thinking that you've been out here waiting. <laughs> don't try and drag me into this with you. Oh, yeah. Well, let me remind you that if it wasn't for you, we wouldn't be out here in the first place. How do you figure? Because you're the one that gave Bruder Riker my flipping cassette player. I heard that. <clears throat> Don't do that. I am sick and tired of you hitting me all the time. If you hit me again, I'm gonna You said I could hit you every I, single I know, time. I know what I said, okay? I don't care anymore, all right? I enjoy saying... Don't sit flip. Ah. Oh, yeah. Ooh, I feel so much better. Flip, 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 flippity, flippity, fetching, flip. What are you doing? I'm writing down how many times you say it so I know how many times I can hit you when you finally come back to your senses. Oh, read my lips, Elder. I do not want you hitting me anymore. I have no feeling in my left arm, okay? I want you to leave me alone, okay? Okay! 
I'm just trying to help. Hey, if you really want to help, just leave me alone. Ah, oh, it's getting kind of late. I'm sure you guys are tired of answering all my questions. I probably ought to get going. No, no, don't leave on our account. I mean, there's still lots more you got to learn before you get baptized. <laughs> mm, what he meant there was that there's still a lot more that we could teach you uh, about our church. Yeah, for instance, have you ever pondered the questions, where you come from, why you're here, and where you're going? Yeah. Yeah, I guess I have asked myself those questions a time or two. You have? Well, uh, we can't teach you everything in one night, and there were many things revealed to the Prophet Joseph Smith, among them the answers to these questions. Perhaps if you read the Book of Mormon and pray about the things that we've taught you, we could go further, I if you'd like to go further. Yeah, I think I'd like that. You would? Yeah. Yeah, you would. Well, great. Well, uh... Why don't we set up another appointment? Let's say, um, tomorrow. No. Tomorrow night would be fine. That uh, might... Same time around 8.30? Okay. Uh... Looks like we can squeeze you in there. Yeah. <clears throat> ah, Flip, they're just standing around in there. I'm sorry. I forgot! I forgot! Hello, you're gonna regret that! All right, I'll see you guys tomorrow night. Okay. All right. <laughs> What was that? That was Elder Vampire. <laughs> oh! I guess he needed to go. <laughs> Help! All right. Run, but you can't hide! We'll see you guys. Oh, 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 where is he? Shoot. Where is he? Oh, he got him behind the door. Oh! oh. oh no, 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 done with the place. Take you long? No, Elder Rogers and I are only gone about five minutes. And... Well, you might want to untie Elder Van Pelt. Uh, I wouldn't want you to cut yourself. Elder, can I see that, please? President, um, you know, he, he was, uh, well, I, I was, uh, it's all my fault. I'm sorry. I just, I lost control, and I just... No. No, uh, I'm to blame as well. That's a start. Look, the last thing I want to do is lecture you right now. But there is something missing here. Can you feel that? Perhaps the Lord could shed a little light on this for us. Doctrine and Covenants, 42, 14. Elder Rogers, could you help us out with that, please? Um, and ye shall receive the Spirit by the power, uh, by the prayer of faith. And if ye receive not the Spirit, ye shall not teach. Get the message, boys? Now, having been a physician for over 30 years, I've written my share of prescriptions. 
But I think this case calls for some spiritual medication. Elder Johnson. Yes, sir. I would like you to apply this once a day, and you call me in a month. Yes, sir. Elder Van Pelt. Now, you've been out about six months, haven't you? Yes, sir. I tell you what. You apply this twice a day, and you call me in a week. Elder Calhoun. Has Elder Rogers been working you hard? Yes, sir. I, I mean, mit alle Fitzen in Lopen, mein Achterwerk is sehr muy geworden. See, well, you, uh, you keep working on that Dutch. <laughs> oh, sir. Elder Rogers. You know, I got a phone call yesterday from a very concerned mother who hadn't received a letter from her son in over three months. And you know what I told her? No. I promised her that she'd get at least one letter a week for the rest of his mission. Now, you wouldn't want to make a liar out of me, would you, Elder? No, sir. All right, brethren. Well, let's get back to work. While you're at it, let's clean up this flippin' place. Remember, it's the Lord's time you're on. Yes, sir. I'm never gonna be assistant now. I'm so sorry, you guys. Uh, I'm sorry I lost it. I'm sorry about the president. I'm sorry about your investigator. I, I, Hey, Elder, can I have the tape? I still ain't got no batteries. It's OK, I do. Ah, uh, my cassette player. I got one. So how'd your discussion go today? Oh, it was just great. The spirit was so strong. And Elder Rogers, well, he knew every answer to everything he asked. In fact, he's coming back again tomorrow. Hey, guys, it's working. So, uh, how come you guys are teaching over here, anyways? Oh, because he didn't think his roommates would want us over there. So, he asked if he could come over here. <laughs> oh, 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 you guys got to hear this. This is great. Sounds like this guy could be golden, huh? Well, lucky to find a guy like that on your first day. Hello, spreek met de van Pelt. President. Yes, hi. Yeah, yeah, I'll send him right down. Good night. Johnson? <laughs> you guys would not believe what's going on back home. I'm not even going to recognize the place when I get there. The president wants you downstairs in his car right now. OK. So uh, how's Julie doing? Fine. Couldn't be better. Tape over? Nope. Plenty more. Just got done going to a dance with her roommate, and now she's going to tell me what happened. Doesn't that make you a little jealous? Her going to the dance and all? No. We were made for each other. What could possibly happen? So, um... Who wants to hear what Julie's voice sounds like? No, 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 no. I don't think that's a good idea. Yeah, you're probably right. Hey, Emmett. I just got back from the dance. I met this nice returned missionary. He's been back about a month. Anyway, Gina, that's my roommate. She just adores him, and she's asked him over to dinner tomorrow. Oh, which reminds me, we don't have anything to make him. Oh, well, I'll let her worry about that. <sighs> well, I mean, it's almost 1 o'clock, and I'm really tired, so I guess I'll finish this tomorrow. Good night. <laughs> Emmett? Sorry it's taken so long, but it's been three weeks since I last recorded. There's so many things that have happened, and I don't know where to start. You've always been honest with me, and I know you'd want me to be honest with you, too. You remember that nice returned missionary I told you about? Well, his name is Scott Swanson, and we've been seeing each other every night for the past three weeks. 
And tonight, he asked me to marry him, and I accepted. We're going to be married June the 14th, and I know that's just six weeks away, and it seems like we're rushing in. Sorry about the numbers this week, Elder. Uh, I'm just, uh, we're just having a bad week. Hmm. Rogers and Calhoun. Uh, okay, they taught 10 discussions, uh, placed 22 Book of Mormons, uh, made six referrals, proselyted, 58 hours, zero challenges, zero baptisms. Oh, and Elder Calhoun wanted me to ask you what the mission record is for Book of Mormons placed in a week. 61, huh? Don't you know? Wow. Oh, Can't you see? No, 61? 62. Discussions, placed 44 Book of Mormons, made 11 referrals, proselyted 64 hours, six challenges, zero baptisms. Yeah, they're really on fire. Don't tell him you said that. Oh, and Elder Van Pelt says hi. Thanks. Elder Van Pelt. He's fine. <clears throat> Rogers and Calhoun. Yeah, they're quite a team. They're leading the mission. <laughs> wow, how about that? Yeah. Yeah, I got them right here. Okay. Uh, they taught 37 discussions, placed 62 Book of Mormons, books of, or, Book of Mormons, um, 
They made nine referrals, proselyted 72 hours, challenged, well, we probably shouldn't count these numbers because Calhoun challenges everybody he talks to. <laughs> no, there's nothing wrong with that. It's, um, okay. 97 people challenged and zero baptisms. Well, they are pretty close with this Kyle Harrison. Uh-huh. Yeah, I'll tell him he said that. And Elder Van Pelt and I will try to keep up with them this week. They have set a pretty high bar, though. <laughs> yeah. Okay, thanks, Elder. Told you. Hey, was that the zone leaders? Hey, was that the ZLs? Yeah. And? Did they ask about me? You know, as a matter of fact, they did. Uh, they asked if I thought you were ready to go senior companion, or maybe even <laughs> district leader. Oh, you're kidding me. Yes, I am. You know, Elder, I really don't think that's funny. Hey, Elder, let's go get something to eat. It's almost 4 o'clock. I'm starving. I mean, she's been married for 14 hours. She didn't even invite me to the wedding. How could she? Elder, you're 5,000 miles away. That's a thought that counts. I wonder what she's doing right now. What difference does it make? Well, none, but it doesn't hurt to wonder. Uh, fine. Well, let's see. It's eight hours difference. That means it's still early morning there. She's probably still asleep in bed. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Forget I said anything. I'm sorry. Now I know how Rogers felt. Elder, you're hopeless. You're totally hopeless. You guys been here all day? You been here all day? I have. He's been in the twilight zone. What you listening to? Tab choir. Tab choir. <laughs> How'd that get in there? Don't even act like you're asleep, because when you're asleep, you snore. Elder Calhoun, you want to go get something to eat with me? I don't know. Elder, do. Yeah, I do. Hey, don't be gone too long. Kyle's coming over in like 45 minutes. <laughs> we'll be back soon, Dad. Elder Van Pelt. Yes. Don't corrupt him. Go ahead and say it. Say what? I told you so. I bet you're being hard enough on yourself. Yeah, well, it really does hurt. Yeah, I know. I've been there, remember? Yeah. Well, what made you snap out of it? How come, how come all of a sudden you're just suddenly on fire? few things, I guess. Hilda Calhoun's one of them. <laughs> and you know, something you said really bothered me. What was that? What you said about knowing why you came out here, and if I did. Don't remind me. No, I mean, that really got to me. I mean, that first night we taught Kyle Harrison, boy, it just hit me, you know? I did come out here for the right reasons. I just, I just lost sight of that for a while. Don't let that happen to you. It's not worth it. Where have I heard that before? Yeah. Honestly, though, aren't you still just a little bit bitter about what Richardson did? Yeah, I'm a little bitter. But you know, I've made myself a promise. When I go home, I'm gonna look him up. I'm gonna shake his hand. I'm gonna ask him how he's doing. 
and then I'm going to punch him right in the mouth. <laughs> What about baptisms, though? Don't you, don't you feel bad about not having any? Yeah, it would have been nice. But, you know, I'm always saying numbers don't count, so... Well, what about this Kyle Harrison? I thought he was really close. Yeah, well, he goes out of town next week, and I bet he doesn't look us up when he gets back. I really thought he was making progress. You know, he knows it's true. He just doesn't want to change yet, that's all. You guys weren't gone very long. Where'd you go? I'm just a store across the street. Elder Calhoun. Yeah? What do you think we ought to teach Carl tonight? Oh. You, you think we should challenge him again? No, I don't think we should challenge him again. We've challenged him so many times, it's not a challenge anymore. It's more of a plea. Hey, Kyle, come on in. Uh, I thought we said 5.30. Yeah, we did, we did. I just, I have some plans for later with some friends, so I was hoping to come by early. Well, yeah, sure, sure, sure. You remember uh, Elder Johnson, right? Yeah, yeah. met briefly. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, Elder Van Pelt. Hi. I hope we're not uh, interrupting. No, 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 you're not interrupting anything at all. We were just on our way out the door, weren't we, Elder? Good to see you again. Okay, so, uh... Ellie Calhoun has the answers to uh, the questions from the other night. Okay, yeah. good. good. Uh, Listen, the reason I came by early is that, uh -huh. so that before you get to that, I was wondering if maybe I could take... Verses 14 through 20. Okay. Do you just want to look at it right there? Yeah. Uh, okay. 14 to 20. Um... So does that uh, help answer your question? Yeah, it does. Yeah. Great. But, but what I wanted. To, answer, yeah. but, but wait, before you get to that, I just wondered if I could squeeze a word in before. Um, look, I wanted to come over and talk to you early because I. Well, first of all, I want to. I want to tell you how much I appreciate the, all the time you spent teaching me. It's been great. Well, I've been giving it a lot of thought. And. Uh, well, that's why I came by early, is I wanted to tell you that I... I want to be baptized. Great. <gasps> you what? I want to be baptized. I can, can I? Oh, no, 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 yes, yeah. yes, yes, yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. You just, you caught me by surprise. <laughs> oh, well, listen, it, it came by a su oh. surprise to me, too. I mean, I... <laughs> but I, I just, I really, I really know that this is, uh... This is what I want to do. Well, congratulations yeah. oh, to you. Thank you. I, I congratulations. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. Congratulations. Thanks. I'm excited. Yeah. That'd be great. Elder. Good job. Congrats. Oh, God. Okay. Good. Okay. Congratulations. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> well. So now what do we do? I don't know. I've never gotten this far before. Why don't we sit down? Okay. Okay. Well, one of the first things we should do is, uh, let's set a date. How about okay. tomorrow? No. <laughs> yeah, that's no. a little soon. Yeah, besides, there's okay. more questions we gotta go over, and we have to have an appointment with the district lead. Uh, you know, I am gonna be out of town all next week, and I don't get back till Saturday. Oh, you know, that that's just perfect, because that's the day that Elder Rogers goes home. Oh, is that gonna be inconvenient? No. No, no. <laughs> I can leave right after the service. Okay. <laughs> Great. Well, let's see, uh, actually, write this down. Um, we're gonna need someone to baptize you. I was thinking maybe Brother Cross. I mean, you guys have gotten close over the last couple of weeks. Yeah, we have, we have. I just, you know, if I have a choice, I'd really rather have you do it, Elder Rogers, if you would. You want me? I'm sorry, that's not allowed? Oh, no, no, I, uh, I just, uh, I, I don't know what to say. Well, say yes. Yes, yes, I, I, I would okay. love to. <laughs> Great. All right, um, it's all yeah. set then, huh? Um, yeah, we'll uh, we'll take care of everything else, and then um, okay. we'll, uh, we'll let you know. Beautiful. Yeah. Hey, um, look, you're gonna have a million reasons why not to go through with this, but I promise you, if you just hold true to the things that we taught you, you'll never regret it. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I gotta get going. Right, 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 right. Yeah, you still have plans, so. Well, just a date. 
With a girl? Yeah. <clears throat> hey, thanks again, guys, for yeah. everything. And, uh, listen, don't worry about me. I'll make it. Okay. All right. See you, Kyle. See ya. Do you know what this means? <laughs> yeah! First baptism! You know. <laughs> Buddy, huh? Thanks, Ken, huh? Can't think of a better way to end a mission than with a baptism. Yeah, who'd have thought, huh? <laughs> so, uh, anybody want me to look up when I get back? Family, old companions, ex girlfriends. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm fine. I've only got a few months left. Besides, Elder Van Pelt's sister's been riding me. Really? Any possibilities? Maybe. She's six. Ah, huh. yeah. Hmm. Hey, take care. Thanks. <laughs> Listen, um,. I didn't think I'd ever say this, but you'd inspired me. Thanks. If you ever repeat that to anybody, I'll kill you, okay? Fair enough. Okay, sounds good. Hey, Elder Van Pelt, can you take a picture of us? Flip. Oh, now hang on. This isn't fair. I mean, you're the one who got me saying that word. So good. Excuse me. Lucky those two are getting a transfer. I don't think they'd make it another month. <laughs> Wait, uh, <clears throat> wait, just a second, if, um, you could. <laughs> uh, I just wanted to, uh, tell you a couple things now, because I didn't get a chance at the service. And, uh, I just wanted to let you know how much I enjoyed working with you, and that... I know your new companion. You like him. He's a really hard worker, and I think you guys get along just fine. So, uh, let's see. Um, <laughs> you've got the tracking books. Yes. Okay, and you know all the investigators' yes. names. You've got all the streets memorized. Good, because that won't. Don't worry, I can handle it. Okay. I know you can. <laughs> Gosh, it passes you by so fast. Don't let one moment pass you by, okay? Just remember that. I will. You gonna write that down? Sorry. Maar ik ben hier onbekend. Weet je misschien direct naar het centrum? Ja, natuurlijk. Ik kan je wel helpen. Eerst moet je even een baan te gaan en dan uh, moet je linksaf en rechtsaf yeah. en daarbij kom je op het centrum. Oh, dank u wel. Ja. Dag. Mama makes the best fried chicken. Wrangler makes the best blue jeans. Yeah, everybody knows Oklahoma makes the very best football teams. 
I believe that the more minds make the best pioneers. So I'm going to the land of the tulips. I'll be knocking on my best two years. Knocking on my best two years. Knocking on my best two years. A snapshot of my life, but the exposure was all wrong. I couldn't see a thing developing. It's been that way too long. So I have come with a request. Though part of me thinks I'm insane. But I'm determined to see this thing through And I will not complain Take my life And turn it into something better Choose any way you will Take Break down the walls and build a palace Up on a higher hill I thought I knew where I should go And tried to get there on my own I took the easy roads But now I know I'm lost all alone Take my life And turn it into something useful Don't stop until you're done Take these eyes And make them see a clearer vision of what I can become And on those days When I think I'm dying I'll trust in you And I'll keep on trying And if you pick this road I'll take it and with you as my guide I know I can make it take my life and make it one that is worth living don't stop until you're through take this life, the one that I am freely giving, I give it all, I give it all, I give it all to you. I give it all, I give it all. to you.